Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today is going to be a quick video explaining how to convert an image into a base64 data URL using JavaScript, right? So this right here is my starting HTML. The way it's going to work is we need to use an input field with a type of file in order to upload the file into the browser. And then from there, we can use JavaScript to take that file and convert it into a data URL. So First step here, let's head inside the body and create a new input with a type of file. We can now give this an ID of something like file input. And now of course, we're gonna be using this, like I said, to select that file. Once we have the file selected, we're gonna to react to a change event on that input field. So first, let's get a reference to the file input within JavaScript equal to document uh, dot get element by ID. Then just say here, file input, of course, passing through that ID. So now dropping down here, we can react to when the user changes the input. In other words, uploads a file. So we'll say here, file input dot add event listener. When the change event fires off, we are simply going to uh, console.log here, uh, the event object, okay? So this E right here is the event object, all right? I'm gonna save this, go inside the browser here. I'll refresh and now I can choose a file. So right here, I'm going to simply choose my decode logo and we can see on the right side within the console, we've got this event object. Now, if we scroll down to the target, the target simply refers to the input field itself, okay? but this right here is very important because scrolling down, you've got this property right here called files and it gives you a reference to each file you selected. In the case of a multiple file input, there's gonna be multiple items inside this list, but of course, for this single file input, there's only one item and we can see here, it is this file object. So we're gonna take this file, like I said, and convert it into base64. Going back inside the JavaScript code, we can now simply get a reference to that file by saying const file equal to uh, file inputs dot files, then index zero. Now you can of course use e dot target or you can use file input, both refer to the same thing. So dot files index zero is gonna be that single file. Dropping down here, I can now say const reader equal to a new instance of what's called a file reader. So this object right here is going to, as the name suggests, read files. And you've got a few options for doing so. One of them is a data URL. Let's hop down here now and we're gonna say, look, you know, once the reader has finished taking our file and converting it into a base64 data URL, we can of course do something with that string. So we'll say here dot add event listener on load or completion, we are going to simply run this function. This function is going to console.log reader dot result. So this right here is gonna be our base64 data URL. To read the file, we simply say reader dot read as data URL and pass in there the file to read just like that and we are done. I'll save this, go back in the browser here. I'll refresh, choose my logo once again, press open and we have the data URL for my decode PNG logo. If I was to copy this right here and go into a new tab and just press enter, we can see here we have the data URL loaded up. Now there is some space on the bottom there that might be due to just how big the image file is, but it should be perfectly fine for you and you should get a well-formed data URL. And that is all for today's video, guys. Hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video.